Hi everyone! In this blog post, I will be discussing what I learned from my summer reading, and in turn what I learned about myself from the book. Then I will go into how I applied what I learned into my own life, and finally whether or not I would recommend this book. So this summer, as an incoming freshman for FDDS, I only had to read one book, and that was Mastery by Robert Greene. One of the main things that I learned is that achieving mastery is feasible. I had always thought of the works of Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, and other masters to be almost entirely unattainable. As Robert Greene states, this is society's predominant viewpoint of masters. People think they can only be these rare egotistical geniuses whose success can be amounted to sheer luck. But I learned that while yes, these masters, especially the ones discussed in the book, were exceptional in all of their work, I too can have similar success, but in a different subject matter. I have gained confidence that I will be able to go through the apprenticeship, creative active, and mastery phases in my career. Of these stages, I currently would consider myself to be in the pre-apprenticeship phase, so not even at step one. Though I have barely begun on my journey to mastery, I found there were strategies in the book to achieving each step that I could use, regardless of what stage I was in. For instance, one of the strategies in the creative active phase, or the second step, is to embrace the slowness that comes with studying your particular subject matter. This idea is simply relevant to doing work at school. When you're taking your time on, let's say, a paper, and it seems that it's taking forever because you're going through so much information, you should embrace the slowness of this process. All of the work that you are putting in is making your paper that much stronger. I am trying to apply this concept to my life, as it is especially relevant because I can be rather impatient. Now when I am working on something and is taking longer than I expected and I'm starting to get frustrated, I take a step back and a few deep breaths. I remind myself that the slowness is only for my ultimate benefit. This is actually working out pretty well for me. Another useful strategy also in the creative active phase is to read material outside of the discipline you are studying. I feel this is particularly important because increasingly fields of study are becoming more and more interrelated. Though public health will most likely be my ultimate field of study, I enjoy learning and researching other topics. Now whenever I want to read about something that seems unrelated to my life, I encourage myself to read it anyways because it might end up being relevant. From reading this book, I was actually able to learn things about myself, primarily through self-evaluation. Something that is stressed in the book is to understand my strengths and weaknesses. As such, this book pushed me to do some self-evaluation about my own strengths and weaknesses. I realize that my strengths are in my researching and presenting skills, whereas my current weaknesses are patience and writing what I want to say effectively. After finishing Mastery, I would definitely recommend it to others. I feel the most useful time to read it is in or before college or starting a new career. It allows you to have a tentative roadmap in your head on how you are going to be able to achieve success. One of the things I really enjoyed about the book was how it gave a step-by-step -step process on how to achieve mastery. I have to think things through very logically and would much prefer to have set directions to get things done. So the format of this book and the subject matter really resonated with me. Thanks for watching.